Hi friends, Mindy here. I have a quick project for you today. I'm going to be creating some pockets for some junk journals. This idea is not original to me. I saw a video from Margaret at Seven Plaza and she is the one that inspired this. So you want to take a piece of book text or book paper and fold it down lengthwise. So you want a kind of a good size of paper and then you're going to open that up and then take this left side and starting at the very top where that fold is you're going to take that one corner and fold it kind of back in you're not doing a 90 degree angle here just kind of at a, um, a different angle it doesn't really matter but you don't want a 90 degree fold if that makes sense so and then you're going to take it from the bottom and just fold it up all the way to the top and then fold it in half so this is kind of going to be the finished size of this little pocket and then you're going to take these two top sections here and fold them back over. And this is actually going to create like the 90 degree right angle. Um, you could fold it the other way if you wanted to so that it was more parallel. But then you're kind of have that corner page kind of sticking in the middle, if that makes sense. So um, then I'm going to kind of start gluing everything down. So it's going to create a few different pockets here. Um, and you can really you don't want to cut these off you could I, I suppose but folding them back on themselves is just a, a better way it just gives you a little bit more stability so i'm taking that inside section kind of folding it back on itself and then on the front you also have this little flap and this is just going to create that pocket on the middle in the middle and then um you could if you wanted to you could leave that open and create like a hidden journaling spot or whatever. I am going to be gluing them all down. So I'm going to glue down this one triangle section. Again, this is just going to add some extra stability. And then I'm going to go down that one long side and, and the short side, just on the two sides. And that is going to create my pocket when I fold it back up. Now this little top section here, again, you could leave that open if you wanted to create like a little hidden journaling spot. You could make it a little tuck spot, like an up tuck spot. Um, I'm not going to do that. I just went ahead and glued all of that down. Another option would be to take that fold, that outer part and fold it toward the center. And then you would just have the pocket instead of having that paper that's kind of going the opposite angle, if that makes sense. But I like the look of that. I like having the paper that's kind of going the different directions and everything. So that's really kind of just personal preference. I'm going to decorate those anyway, so it's going to get covered up. So on this one, I'm just showing I have a rough edge on this paper. Now, if you, that's not something that you like, you could certainly trim that down. I don't mind that. I actually like it. Um, I like all the patina. I like the rough edges. And so I just left that. I just feel like it gives it a little bit more interest. So you're going to see me fold these a few times. I just went ahead and left all this footage in so you can kind of see the process. Sometimes it helps to see it, you know, more than once. Um, and so I, again, here, I'm just going to fold this little triangle section back toward the center. And then that gives me a pocket. I wanted to try to create a little lip there though, just so that it's a little bit easier to see that pocket and it's a little bit easier to get things in and out of it. So uh, I am cover I glued that top triangle. Now I'm gonna do that sort of little, little section. I'm gonna do the inner triangle here. Um, and I'm sorry if I'm not explaining this very well. Again, I'll, I'll try to link Margaret's video because she does a very good job explaining how to create this pocket. It's really not hard. I'm probably making it more confusing <laughs> than it really is, but you're just gluing down the sides and creating some pockets. So um, these hold quite a bit of things as well. So these, depending on how big your paper is, obviously this determines how wide your pocket's gonna be. So you don't wanna kind of use any paper that's really too narrow, you really do want a good size paper. And on this one, I'm actually starting on the right side and folding that one in just so that you can kind of see you that, you you know, depending on how you want your pocket, you can either have it so that the pockets enter from the right or that they enter from the left. I personally, for some reason, just like it better when they enter on the right. Um, but I wanted to show you that you could do it kind of both ways. So I'm doing that with some music paper here. And again, just gluing this all down in same exact sections, just a different paper. Sorry if you can hear my son. He's he's gaming right now and he gets very loud. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. And then on this one, I'm folding that back section again, just not quite even with the front section, just to get that little lip on there. I just feel like that was it's easier to see kind of where the pockets are, especially when I come back through and I will 
distress the edges of all of this. And I'll use archival ink in uh, ground espresso to do that, but it will just help kind of see where the edges of all of those pockets are. So um, I like that if, again, if that's not something that you prefer, then then don't do that. Just keep them even or, you know, fold them however you want to. But um, I'm going to do one more of the music paper, but this one I'm going to do so that it enters, the pocket enters from the right. Um, and so I, but again, you just really want to kind of line it up at from starting from that top fold and kind of just create a little point right there. And it doesn't really matter the angle that you do. Um, you just, you know, whatever looks, whatever looks good to you, I guess is the best way, the best way to say that on this one, I'm having to use my bone folder. This paper is just a little bit thicker than that other paper that I was using just to get a nice, um, fold in there. And then you can kind of see here as I'm folding this one, I'm not folding it all the way back to the left edge. And that will give me that sort of ridge there. It's kind of hard to see, but, um, it just, when I go back through and ink this, it will just make that second pocket just more apparent. And so I just, that was one thing that I did, I think a little bit different because I really just like to be able to see those pockets. So, and then again, if you wanted to, and you didn't want to have that triangle section on the front, that's kind of going the opposite direction, then just fold that piece to the inside. But I like that. Again, you could just even leave it um, for a little private, you know, tuck spot or journaling spot. So, um, these are great this size in particular because they're pretty big depending on the paper that you're using, but it allows you to fit a lot of things in there. So the exciting news that I want to share with you is that I am now on the design team for the junk journal studio. I actually found her through Margaret when I was watching another one of her videos and the labels that I'm going to use today to decorate these tat, these, um, pockets are from a kit that's called um, labels from days gone by and this is the neutral version I believe she has some in some other colors you can see there are a ton of these labels and there are several sheets that I have not even cut yet so um, I am going to be using these probably on all the things but she has them so reasonably priced and there's so many pages in one of these sets that is a really good way if you're just getting started with junk journaling um, without having to feel like you're having to go out and seek out all of these vintage ephemera pieces or whatever, you can just, you know, print out the labels. And one of the things that I really, really love about the labels is they're different sizes. So like this, um, little label that I'm using here actually is several different sizes within these pages. So I know I didn't show all of those pages cause I had already, um, spent some time and fussy cut those before I did this video. I just sat down in front of the TV was my husband was watching and I just um, sat and fussy cut for ever. I still, like I said, I still have several pages to do and then I need to find a way to organize them. Um, but I am now part of her design team. And so you'll be seeing some more projects from me. She also has some like journaling kits there. You, there's also just other ephemera things. So I will put the link for this particular set of labels down in the description and I'll try to remember to link her YouTube channel as well. She does have a YouTube channel and, um, I will link her Etsy shop, but these, I just feel like these are a really good way. They're very versatile. And like I said, that I have, the, I printed the neutral set, but I believe she has these, this same set in, in color. And Margaret is actually how I found Michelle at the Junk Journal Studio in the first place. So I kind of wanted to do a video linking all of those things together just um, because this was a new shop to me. And so I'm really excited to be on her team. And so you can just see me here. I'm just layering some things. I'm using all of the things. So I have some stuff from your creative studio. I have some Tim Holtz things. That little journaling card I just tucked in there is a By the Wolf of God journaling card from last year from the Twisted Scripture devotional kit. I'm going to create a little tag here. I'm not filling up these pockets completely right now because I want to leave some room to add some things when I'm putting these in the journals that they're going to go in. 
so I'm not trying to overstuff them, but this would be a good way to, if you just wanted to send some happy mail, you could create one of these little pockets, fill it up with some ephemera and mail it. It would be great. You could even, if you didn't want to glue it into a journal, you could just clip it in there as well. And, um, it could just be kind of a floating ephemera holder. You could just decorate all the sides or, you know, however you want to do it, but the, it will make a great pocket in a journal just because you can fit so many things in there, so many journaling spots and tuck spots and get a lot of um, use out of all of the little pockets on here. If you know me from other videos, you know I love a good pocket. So I was really excited when I saw her video on how to create this. So one of um, that long, that tall, long label that's in the back is one of my favorites, I think so far that I've come across. And I love the fact that there are several sizes of that label in this kit. So it doesn't, it means I don't have to resize all of the digitals or anything like that. I can just print them out and use them. Now I printed all of mine on white paper and I actually use like a white cardstock, but I have printed out another set that I'm going to be using in another video. And I printed those on coffee dyed paper and I love them. So, um, just giving that as an option too, you could certainly do that. It, they're already made to look aged and, um, vintage, but if you do, you know, print them on coffee dyed paper, it's just, it adds that, that little extra layer of interest to it. So I am decorating this, um, tag as well. This piece that I'm gluing on right now is from your creative studio from a kit that I got ages ago. I'm really trying to use up all of my things. Um, and so I, I'm just mixing all of the things that I have. And then this pocket, I have this die cut. This was actually, like a cardstock die cut and it was given to me um in a swap and i i love it and i really love the kind of bold statement that it makes on the front of this music paper so i just added a label um from the junk journal studio kind of behind just to add some height on that little uh, on the left side there and then i'm going to add a label just right over the top just to kind of break it up just a little bit to bring everything kind of all the way over to bring your eye all the way over across the front. Certainly there are a million ways that you could decorate the front of these pockets. You could add some fabric, you could add some lace trim. Um, all of those things kind of crossed my mind, but I'm not really sure um, how these are going to look in the journals that I'm creating. So I'm trying to keep them fairly simple. And then I can always embellish them further if I want to. These are some tags that I also got in that same swap. And, um, and so I, th I believe they're just from a printable. There was, um, so I trimmed the edges just a little bit cause there was some white on there. And then I'm just inking everything with this archival ink and in ground espresso. And then I added a shipping label in there as well. So this one is kind of just all tags. You could do journaling cards, you could do whatever. This little one, this is actually a smaller piece of music paper that I had. I have um, that floral image. It's actually from a vintage um, book page that I cut out. And then this little sticker, is a, it's a sticker that looks like a stamp. It's a Year Creative Studio sticker, but I never trust the adhesive on those. So I always add a little bit because they're just not very sticky. And then I am putting in a journaling card that I created a while back. Um, just, I created a master board and created that. And then I have this postcard left over from another project, but it kind of matched the colors. So I'm going to tuck that in there as a journaling spot in the back. And, um, that's going to be it for me. I'm going to show a little bit close up so you can kind of see just a little bit closer how these labels just really add such, such charm to all of this, just a little bit of vintage look. So if you liked this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the links for the, the Junk Journal Studio and Margaret at Seven Plaza. And until next time, bye.